This is the Dan Levator Show with the Stugats Podcast. Stugats, over the course of the playoffs coming up here, we're going to merge our world some with all the smoke to cover basketball. And uh, Amin is going to be appearing on a variety of different shows, but one of them is Bully Ball with Boogie Cousins and Rachel Nichols. And... We got to him finally. We found him. How evasive. Chris, how annoying has this been today? Because it's been difficult to locate Amin to get him to answer some questions about his international we've, shame. We've had our whole team on it. I've been texting with them, people in the back, and we finally, as post game here, wow. we got him. He tried to evade us. Ramadan. Okay, yes. Unbelievable series of excuses. Amin, explain yourself. Jessica, you said it was a circle change up. Everyone, is, the internet is mocking you for your follow through, for your form, not just the air ball. What is your excuse? Well, first of all, not evasive at all. If you look at my Twitter timeline, I have been very welcoming for all and any ridicule and shame for what was a, a terrible looking shot. The only thing I'll say is that's not how I shoot. And you don't have to take my word for it. Just talk to anybody who's hooped with me. And that includes NBA players, NBA coaches, NBA media people, uh, like I, music executives, uh, platinum recording artists, you name it. But it's how you that's shot. Right. Like we saw it. We watched it. Yeah, like, that was that was that uh, was one that got away from me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> right. That's not how I and by the way, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about like, oh, I'm usually Clay Thompson. I'm just saying, like, that's not how I shoot. Like, that, my form does not look like that. But we the all ball, saw it. That was your form. The only time. That was my form. The only That was my form on that shot. Right. On that shot, that was my form. But, that but is that's the, not my form. But that's the only access we have to. His knuckleball's different. Dan. Any of your work in this realm. Like, there are people really undermining your future credibility, saying this will end his career. His analysis stinks. He, no one will take let, him seriously let, after this. Let, let me say this. The only people saying stuff like that are the people who didn't agree with something I said to begin with. There's nobody who was like, man, I used to really enjoy his analysis, but now I haven't seen this. Oh, everyone who's saying all that stuff are people who already disagree with me because I said something about their favorite player. Or I said something about their favorite team. Or I said something about their city or I said something. It was something else. So I'm not worried about this. I know the quality of my work. I also know that that's not my form. So right. I don't have any worries is. about but credibility or, or saw, career or whatever. We saw your form. It's not my form. Zion Williams. Not my form. It is, but it, it's in the corner of the screen, and that's your form. Dan, Dan, let me ask you a question. Remember when JaVale McGee had that wild-ass rolling hook shot that went to nowhere and then ran up court even though – ran back down court even though his team had possession? Is that JaVale McGee? Or was that just JaVel McGee in a really bad moment right there? I would say the latter, and that's where I'm at. You know what I am? I'm a victim of the we done with the 90s thing. You guys seen this? It's tw trending on Twitter. No, on, you can't be Instagram. using this as an excuse. You Absolutely. Can, you, you cannot done be, with the 90s. You, you cannot you be cherry pick. This. You cherry pick the one thing that I did that looked terrible. You're and say that's that's you, how they played. You think you're done you, with the '90s? You think you're getting drugged by the internet because it's fashionable to make fun of back when you were in your prime at basketball in the '90s? No, no, it's no, no, it's 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 analogous, Dan. Follow along. It's fashionable to make fun of the guy who has made a career of making fun of people. That's why I'm not fighting it. It's like, yo, these are funny. Ninety percent of the jokes are hilarious. I'm what do you have? Alone. How many do you have in front of you? How many do you have? Can well, you? Can I was told that you guys would have some ready, but I guess I can pull some right can here. Can you on really? My own. Sounds like you're laughing can, along. Can you maybe. read some of the funniest <laughs> criticism that you have gotten this weekend because well, you are getting drugged by the entirety of the internet? Let me just say the best, the highest honor that I've gotten was you know the art but make it sports account where they'll take moments and then they'll find a painting from classical renaissance art that mimics <laughs> that moment yeah and they've done it for some of the great moments in sports history that have happened over the last year and a half it's one of my favorite accounts they did one for me and as far as i'm concerned this is like getting ro roasted by uh by don rickles it's like, the highest damn. honor it's the highest it's the honor, highest it's, honor. You, so now you're claiming that this is art what you made with this jump shot you're now no, no. you're now claiming with it's the, an honor and it's art just to be clear I, I'm saying that they made art out of it. But, yes, it is an honor to be roasted by that account because that account roasts, like, great athletes. They don't – I've never seen them do random people playing pickup or whatever. So <laughs> but right, it's because the fact of, that I'm – 
Just let's there put let's put on the screen it's right a here. It's Javel McGee. It, it I mean, is, but right. I want you to again see the gnarly demon fingers of yeah. uh, of dislocation that represent the Amin Al Hassan jump shot. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Uh, I got some in front of me right here. All right. No J Mayo. Uh, <laughs> Pretty good. Looking. <laughs> That's good. That's good. My, Michael Adult Gilchrist. Craig Bodges. Uh, <laughs> Let's see here. Scroll down. Man, scroll down. ooh, Ginobili. Yeah, I man, ooh, Ginobili. Cheryl Oops. <laughs> Cheryl Oops looks like. A, by the way, Cheryl Oops is from Miles, who took the video, which is which Shout is out hilarious. To Miles. <laughs> because Miles <laughs> Elric told me the reason he pulled his phone out to record to begin with was because I'd made like three or four in a row from that spot. So he's like, "Oh, this is cool." And then the first one he captures is with me missing like that, and he's like, "This is better." This is way better. What are the chances uh, that he caught sure. the one that's not your shooting form? I know. What 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 are, what are the odds, right? All right. Uh, let's see here. I got a couple more here that are pretty good. Stale Ellis, Mah- Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, BJ Armrong. Uh, let's see. Spaz Reed, Cry Lawson, Gordon Wayward. No mo- they're, they're all terrible. <laughs> Larry Turd. Larry Turd. Stiff Curry. That's from John Hollinger. Dan Gnarly. All right. Marcus can't be. All right. I, Cedric Erbalos. Okay. <laughs> Just James terrible. Unworthy. Just all of, please, yeah, this is Tony all, Parker. All right. Game, More of this Dan with Brickow. Boogie Cousins and Rachel Dr. Nichols Dr. on Bully Ball. More Jeff of this. Dr. 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 <laughs> Jeff Hornish shit. Jeff Hornish They Jeff keep getting laid. <laughs> Bailey <laughs> Brunson. They keep getting lazier and lazier. <laughs> Jeff Hornish Josh shit. Oh, no, G. <laughs> Tim Drunken, Bray Young. 